Hi, and welcome to my ham shack. This is K7KQA, James, and today I'd like to show you a short video on my new 2 meter kilowatt water cooled amplifier based off of the BLF 188XR, which is located right about there. Um, this amplifier was uh, built by uh, R3KR, it was built for me. Um, it's a great amp so far. I've had it just a couple of days, but uh, couldn't wait to get it hooked up. Couldn't even wait for sides, actually, or a top. So uh, we're just running rough shot uh, just to kind of get um, um, a couple of the preliminary tests out of the way and make sure she's ticking. And uh, it looks good. So uh, a couple of quick things I'll go through and then I'll key out and uh, show you that one more time. So first thing I noticed when I got it was just the physical size of it. It's very small. Um, you can see like a standard uh, 746 there, Pro, and then I mean this thing is literally no bigger. It's smaller actually than your than your basic desktop transceiver. And the power supply for it is right here. It's uh, just as small. It's an LTEC uh, Flat Pack 2 HE. Um, 3,000 watt <coughs> amplifier uh, power supply. It'll run on 110. I'm running it on 240. Uh, you could uh, run it on 110. I think this amplifier you'd be selling yourself short trying to run it on 110. So uh, we just went ahead and put it on the 240 side, and uh, it seems to be working uh, swimmingly. Um, just to give me an idea real quick on how small this is. So I'm also coming off of um, a 300 pound 8877 that rolled around on casters. So this is super uh, small for me. Look at the size of the pencil there. Um, but uh, just even the power supply. So like uh, the power supply there. I'm gonna bring you over here a sec. This is an HP blade. And it is an absolute, weighs about 40 pounds. There's a pencil next to it for scale. And um, these are great uh, power supplies for the Larkan pallets. Um, this one's for a 1.5 kilowatt uh, 220 Larkan that is en route. But um, there's a pencil next to that one. I mean, what a difference. Uh, shout out to uh, NQ6L there for the QSL card, giving me some uh, protection there <laughs> before I got my case in. So, um, gonna be using my uh, standard setup here, uh, the standard sequencer I like to use, the VHF design sequencers. They all look a little different in my shack, but uh, I have them all down the line. Uh, it's what I enjoy running and it uh, is what triggers and keys uh, all my uh, relaying and sequencing. IC746, uh, we're going to key everything with uh, WSJT and you can see how just how dirty that power supply is. Excuse me, sorry, this is difficult to do with one hand but you know you can see the spike ups there uh, and the noise, it's just awful. Get real close, you see a line through here, too. And that'll all get cleaned up um, eventually when we pick all this up and wrap it up in ferrite and take care of it and clean it up and get it all nice and purty. Um, so, we'll do a, a key up uh, in the normal fashion that I'd probably be using this amplifier. So, we'll go from there. Uh, we're going to go through my magic boxes that I've got set up here from my keying and switching into the radio. Radio provides 100 watts out close to that on 2 meters. This is a 25 watt input amplifier for 1000 watts out. So to kind of idiot proof it for myself uh, while I'm learning on it I put this uh, decibel products 100 dB uh, or excuse me 100 watt 3 dB attenuator in line bidirectional. We're going to follow that up with the uh, standard uh, bird uh, 4304 uh, on the 150 watt scale. 
uh, keep an eye on input power into the amplifier and then we're going to come out to another bird standard uh, 43 with the uh, with the 1000 C slug uh, runs up to a kilowatt at 2 meters pretty standard stuff we're going to run that into this uh, bird uh, 8401 load back here so that's the chain um, I'm trying to think of anything else I should let you know uh, the uh, amplifier runs on 53.6 volts and the current draw I don't have it off the top of my head I think it's somewhere about um, maybe 35 or 40 amps and this has got way way more than enough headroom for that um, and these were this wasn't that expensive this was pretty cheap so I was, I'm pretty happy with just the power supply it's pretty cool especially next to the HP blades and how big and herky those things are oh everything is controlled uh, I'm going to show you this through a DB9 or uh, excuse me a DB25 I thought that was a little interesting DB25 a little different that's okay got onto Amazon and I found this really neat little breakout panel most of you guys have probably seen these before I hadn't and uh, it's just a female breakout panel makes it easy to uh, start playing with stuff so that's what we got on there now and that provides the input for the external or for the auxiliary 13.8 volts and also for the key line now the 13.8 volts runs all the small electronics in here runs the screen runs the water pump the circulator uh, pump um, uh, the light panel the LEDs those, those sorts of things so uh, important uh, but it um, it gets uh, the main juice off of uh, off of this guy here, uh, 53.6 volts. So let's go ahead and key it up, and um, I'll give you a bird reading there, and we'll look at the screen, and then we'll call this video a done deal. It's kind of carrying on and carrying on here. So let's um, I'm gonna go ahead and do an enable. So we're keyed up there, tuned up. Got my radio settings the way I want them. And uh, we'll just wait just a brief moment here. Five, four, three, two. It's very quiet too, this amp. You can see that there. We can verify that. Up here, running a little bit low. Of course, we can take care of that pretty easily. There you go. You got your bird uh, thousand watt there uh, scale. So um, that's pretty much it. Maybe we'll let it cycle one more time. And it kind of spools down. You know, if you caught the tail end of that there. And it just pegged the needle right up. Actually, I'm going to uh, halt and then I'll uh, re key that. And you guys can see how it just, just pegs it right up. And again, very quiet. Doesn't hardly make any noise at all. Power supply is about silent. And so is the amp. And when I'm running six meters or even that 8877, well, you you could tell three houses over. So I'm pretty happy with this. So thank you for watching. And I'm sorry that the video quality is so shaky and terrible. Um, but I did want to get something out. I had some guys asking me about it and stuff, and uh this kind of broad brush strokes is all this is but uh anyway um time to go play uh on uh, six meter meteor scatter so we're gonna shut this shut this one down for now hopefully uh before too long we'll uh have some sides to go on it and a front panel and um all that good stuff and uh deal with the noise suppression thank you for watching and i hope you got something out of this video uh, and again, uh, if you're looking for something like this uh, and you don't want to spend uh, all of your kids' tuition, um, you can um, buy something like this from uh, Eastern Europe, uh, that area of the world, and uh, save yourself a couple bucks in uh, 
finaling out the uh, fit and finish on it. So uh, anyway, that's that's all I got for you. This is K7KQA James in a little dirty corner of my shack, but um, happy with this uh, water cooled BLF 188XR uh, amplifier uh, for two meters. Thanks for watching. Seven three.